little bit upset about it. The first drill that we always start with is just a very basic one that you would do it even at like a learn to skate type of program, uh, but the focus is on the edges and we just call them bubbles or uh, whatever you'd like to call them, watermelons as well as what they're called, uh, but they're inside edges, both feet are going at the same time, inside edges, a heel pushes, so all your weight is being transferred into the heel. Another main point that we'll talk about as well throughout each one of these drills is that uh, the weight is either going to be distributed through the toe or it's going to be distributed through the heel and uh, we want to grab the ice. So we're constantly talking about getting a grip on the ice. The louder, the louder the rip in the, in the ice, uh, the, the deeper the cut, the better the grip that you have um, on the ice. Um, so again, the ice is slippery, but as soon as you grab it and you grab that edge, you get a nice little crack like you just heard right there. Um, that's your skate, that's your edge, literally grabbing the ice. Start with your toes pointed out. You should have a lot of ankle uh, strength. Uh, we tell the kids, point your toes directly out. Keep your knees bent. Push into your heels, distribute the weight into the ice, and make sure your toes come back together. So heels touch, and then toes touch at the end. And uh, I'll demonstrate the drill a few times. One of the common errors that kids make in the watermelon drill is uh, they'll bounce up and down. They may start low and then they'll stand up really, really tall through the uh, uh, through the cutting of the uh, uh, of the ice. Um, so we want to make sure that they stay low, their knees stay bent, their eyes almost stay level the entire time. So you're not starting low and then standing up and starting low and then standing up. Just keep it nice and nice and level. Next drill is the exact same drill that we just did with the watermelons. Instead of doing two feet at the same time, uh, now we're just alternating. You do left and then you do right. You do left and then right. Uh, same sort of thing. Stay nice and level. So next, The forward C-cut drill is another of Lara Stam's signature drills. It can help you master the pushes of the forward and backward stride and will prepare you for more difficult maneuvers such as tight turns and pivots. Bend your knees and simultaneously dig the inside edge of the skate into the ice. Now pivot this foot outward, the toe facing out to the side. Cut an upside down letter C into the ice. Be sure to push to full extension. To return the leg, re-pivot the skate so the toes face inward. Now bring the skate back until your feet are close together and centered under your body. Be sure to glide straight forward as you execute the C-cut push. <laughs> 